Premier League victories have been hard to come by for these two teams since the turn of the year. Brighton have won just two of their last ten matches. Bournemouth just one of their last nine, so similar form or lack of form, you could say, for Brighton and for Bournemouth. Who will be smiling on the south coast today? Chris Hewton's Brighton have work to do to ensure safety. Keeper Matt Ryan has a familiar four in front of him, including Lewis Dunk, who was sent off at Bournemouth in December. But he and Shane Duffy are usually a solid partnership. Eve Pesuma's only goal came in an FA Cup win at Bournemouth in January. Dale Stevens and Davey Popper again complete the midfield. Anthony Knockart sparked that cup victory. He's joined today by Florin Antoni and Jurgen Lacardia. So Ali Reza, Yahambash and Glenn Murray drop to the bench. Murray is on 199 career goals. There's still no Solly March or Pascal Gross. Eddie Howe also makes two changes in the Burnley defeat. There at the back, Arthur Borat is restored in goal, ahead of Azmir Begovic. Steve Cook returns from injury to face his former club, and just as well with a few other defenders sidelined. David Brooks scored twice against Brighton in that Christmas win. Only Eden Hazard and Christian Eriksen have had more Premier League assists this season than Ryan Fraser. Josh King and Callum Wilson both have 11 Premier League goals. Nathaniel Klein drops to the bench. Dominic Solanke has come on in the last four matches. Brighton have taken just eight points since the turn of the year. A paltry total. Bournemouth haven't been faring much better of late either. Bournemouth really poor against Burnley last week, but they do have one of their leaders back in Steve Cook. Both teams having a huddle and both eager to avoid a muddle at the bottom of the Premier League. Two teams have been showing relegation form but have probably done enough to preserve their place among the elite of English football. Bournemouth more so than Brighton at the moment. It's best to make certain of these things, though. Yeah, I think it's much more important for Brighton with home advantage to try and make it count. I mean, they got a lot of plaudits for their display against Man City in the Cup semi-final last weekend at Wembley. I think had they been a bit more adventurous, maybe something could have come of it. And I think they'll certainly be more adventurous, uh, more adventurous this afternoon with home advantage. And it's a big week for Chris Hutton. Home to Bournemouth, home to Cardiff. They could effectively be breathing a whole lot easier over the course of the next few days. Andy Howes, Bournemouth are ten points above the drop zone. He'll tell you they're not safe yet. But that would be some gap for Cardiff to make up. Cardiff at Burnley today in a huge game for them. There's Montoya. And Bournemouth going with the back four today, Aki at left back. Cook into the heart of that defence. You saw him taking the lead in the huddle. Brighton did beat Bournemouth in the FA Cup en route to the semi finals of that competition this season, but Bournemouth have ruled in recent league encounters between the sides unbeaten in the last nine. The Suma. Dunk, Bernardo, Cardia close by, Davy Proper offers as well. And found a way through to Andoni, Basuma! And his only Brighton goal came against Bournemouth in the FA Cup. And he seemed to lack conviction with that effort. I think it's a real chance because he's got a good yard or two of space just outside the box. 
and you would think he would do better here. As he takes it on to his left, it opens up. He could curl it, but in the end he, he goes for the other corner and just completely drags it wide. It's gone out, Nathan Aki couldn't keep that in. Out to Boritz, restored after a shaky performance from Asmir Begovic against Burnley last week, and Bournemouth with defensive issues, losing a couple of left-backs to injury, and Diego Rico and Charlie Daniels, hence Nathan Aki out there, left-back today. Here is Aki. Here is Steve Cook, who left Brighton for Bournemouth over seven years ago. Proper. Chris Dunk, who was sent off for two bookable offences when the teams met at Bournemouth in December. He's seeking out Anthony Knockart here, and he's found him. Knockart, such a live wire, but he's given that away to Ryan Fraser. That magic from Knockart, like we saw it against Palace with that wonderful goal. That we do in this afternoon. Basuma. Stopped by Cook. Fraser. Aki. Callum Wilson. Josh King now for Ryan Fraser. And Bournemouth are quickly on the front foot here. Oh, it was Josh King who got on the end of it but couldn't steer it towards goal. What a brilliant ball from Fraser on the left hand side here. Cannot do any more than this. Absolute quality. Plays it in with pace and curl. Oh, he's got to score. King's got to score because he gets enough on the ball. He's on the stretch, sure, but he gets it on his full instep. Just misread it slightly. What a chance. He knew what was coming as well because uh, Ryan Fraser has provided 10 assists in the Premier League for Bournemouth. Only Aidan Hazard and Christian Eriksen have managed more in the top flight of English football, and that is pretty decent company to be in. And you can see he's much more comfortable on his left side. I think maybe a couple of seasons ago he wouldn't have been as assured in putting in that left foot cross. Real quality there. That was a strange one. And Dale Stevens. Hopefully he can see the funny side. Offering an apology. Right, they've still got to play Spurs and Arsenal, and on the final day here, Manchester City, so they would quite like to get the job done this week. Eddie Howe scored at both ends in this fixture as a player back in 2001, a match that Brighton won. Jefferson Lerma. Fraser. Lucky break of Pesuma. And here's Duffy to clear. Spinning away from Callum Wilson. Acadia. Stevens. Gosling quickly upon him. Will he be proper? Two wins in their last ten Premier League outings. Bournemouth just one win in their last nine. It's a lack of form from both sides that have pretty much mirrored each other. Basuma. Stevens now for proper. Been uh, fairly sunny in this part of the south coast today, but it's now raining. A rather chilly day by the seaside. Yeah. 
Asuma who had that early effort, as disappointing as it was. Callum Wilson. Now Adam Smith onto this. Bournemouth surging forward with purpose. David Brooks. Lerma. Gosling. Aki. and I think went for the audacious flick into the path of Fraser but he didn't read it at all Bournemouth have lost 10 of their last 11 away games in the Premier League solitary success at Huddersfield over the top here for Andoni proper Stevens. Proper. Duffy. Montoya. Dunk. It's out of Bernardo's reach. The right idea from Dunk, driving forward and then trying to play it wide. Just a bit too firm with the forward pass. Nice day to be beside the seaside. A day with a winter's edge to it. Fraser. Brooks. Lerma for Fraser. Steve Cook got that all wrong. He immediately throws his hands in the air, offers up an apology, and diagonal completely misplaced. Uh, up to eight from the table when they beat Brighton in December, but it's been a very different story for them since the turn of the year, and not much better for Brighton either. Here to Brooks. I think 
Cardiff would like him to be on the ball a bit more, certainly in the, the last third. Trying to carry it well there, but just running out of space. Well, the assistant referee there, Eaton, has uh, something in his eye. Is in fact, who's uh, requiring treatment. Well, that's one person you need with good eyesight. <laughs> it reminds me some of these calls that they make so tight, too many, too many vision required. Bernardo gets the throw off Brooks. OK now, Matthew Wilkes. Almost have the same number of points as they did at this stage last season. And Brighton are uh, just one point worse off. So it's familiar tales all around. charge promotion to the Premier League 15th last season an FA Cup semi-final this season magnificent job he's done really excellent and I'm sure they will go on and secure their status for another year in the Premier League Need to consolidate a bit more with money coming in King he'll use Fraser which is always a good idea for Bournemouth Nathan Aki arrives on the scene too. That's been put away. In fact, it's a goal kick that's been given. Good link up play here with Fraser and Aki. He doesn't really look Fraser, but he's aware of the overlapping Aki. It's a 50 50 there, whether it's a corner or a by kick, but he stands this up really well, Nathan Aki. Which is where it does come off. Joshua King, he's got that one right, I think. Anyhow, feeling the weather by the look of it. from Basuma just to get it driving forward and then out left decent ball into the box here Smith, 
Lucky. Fraser. Schumer quickly in his case. Yeah, really good pressure from the Schumer. Didn't give Fraser a moment at all. Put him under pressure. It's the right thing to do. He's such a threat, even from the middle of the park, if he gets a sharp turn, Fraser. He's running right on to you. Proper. Bernardo. Bernardo. Eager for a second chance. Stevens. With a switch to Montoya. Bright and encouraged here. Look out! Turned away by Meppen. Montoya will try again. Off the head of Steve Cook. Bernardo as Brighton keep the pressure on. And they have a corner. I think it's well dealt with by the Bournemouth defenders, especially Meppen. Cleared that dangerous ball. As Knockhart drives to the byline, Meppen takes up a really good position just to get it clear. That's exactly what you want from the home side. Get one of your players to the byline, get dangerous balls in. Brighton are looking to make the first cut in this contest. It's Knockhart to take it. Nathan Aki got there ahead of Lucardia. Suma. Another corner, although Bournemouth thought that might have taken a nick off Basuma. Basuma showing his strength, his determination, winning something for his team, got the corner. Smith is claiming to the referee that he felt as though he hit it off Basuma. No such luck. Basuma. A slight knock there. And he's okay. Another corner then for Brighton as Lockhart sends it in, and Nathan Aki is first to it again. Quickly back, a dropper! Riccardia flung him, or Andoni rather, flung himself at it. Certainly the right type of ball to be played in, first time. Knockhart plays in the dangerous one, Aki clears it. But look at Bournemouth here. They're disciplined, they get out in a line. And it just allows too much space when he puts it in here. He's sliding into that challenge, but just a bit too far away. Duffy. Lockhart against Aki will be one of the pivotal battles, one of the key duels today. Andoni. Just about kept in by Montoya. Andoni. Supported here by Basuma. This is really good from Basuma. Aki has taken him out. It might be a yellow car coming the way of Nathan Aki, or is... Yes, it is. Yeah, it's quite a bit yellow. It was so promising. Had he not been brought down there, you've got a goal-scoring chance. Because Basuma, with his clever feet here, sharpness of feet, gets away so, so well from Aki. And that touch there takes him away, and he just lifts his leg up there, Aki, to bring Basuma down. Basuma's away here, and then Aki just lifts his le right leg, to bring him down, that was so promising for Brighton. It's a promising free kick nonetheless for Brighton. Changing the angle, but not cut here to get a ball in. Everyone back for Bournemouth. 
everyone inside that 18 yard box. Duffy and Duncan Stevens and Proper all showing interest here. It's Lockhart to float it in. The kick will be given. Over one for Steve Cook. Sean Duffy there too. <laughs> That's good to see. <laughs> they take the take the view of them in their time. Cook and Duffy totally committed. But what a defensive header from Cook. As Duffy is all over him, trying to be aggressive. That's why the referee's given a foul for the shove in the back. He read it well. Steve Cook, a proper competitor, two months out with a groin injury. He doesn't look too clever there. Certainly took a sore one, as they say. Now let's hope he makes a quick recovery. It's good to see him back to full fitness, taking his place in the side, leading the side. Under from Chris Meppen, but uh, Matt Ryan looking a watchful eye. Boom shuddering challenge on Steve Cook. Dunk. By Meppen. Zuma. There's 2 2 that the team's met here last season. In fact, four of the last six league encounters in Brighton have been draws. Montoya. Knock out. Basuma. He just checked his run at the wrong time there, Locadia. Basuma had seen his initial move and then played the pass. Locadia sends it to Montoya. Knock out. Cross is going nowhere fast. Not a bad effort though. It's a decent spell for Brighton, forcing Bournemouth back. Cook still struggling to shrug off the effects of that challenge earlier on. Andy Howe and Jason Tindall rather concerned for their captain. He'll be desperate to continue, having just come back from injury. He doesn't look like the sort to give up easily, unless he really, really has to. Battling on for now. Cook. Fraser. Brooks. Lerma. Seeking out Aki here, but... Challenged by Montoya. And it's a foul by the Bournemouth man. Steve Cook having a quick word with Eddie Howe. Wants to carry on. Such so is his way. Yeah, they're struggling just to get into the game, Bournemouth. Brighton not enjoying a good spell of the ball, good spell of possession, forcing Bournemouth back.
Bournemouth do have a 10 point gap between themselves and the relegation zone. So, uh, not too much cause for concern for them, but they need to uh, bounce back after a horror show against Burnley last weekend. Aki. Having that, and Gosling. And the one diagonal just trying to bring Brooks into the game, but easily read. And Ryan takes it cleanly. Fancy flip for Basuma, and now Andone. Cardia in the middle. Andone's cross, grossly overhead. Awful. What a chance again for Brain to create something. The flip from Knockhart was terrific. Basuma setting Andone away. And then there, the control and the composure. What end product have you got? He loses control of everything there. Nobody able to provide that uh, spark of quality yet. Between these two teams who've been toiling since the turn of the year. Both desperately trying to find some form, but it's proving rather elusive. What a boost it would give either side just to get a goal in front. Settle the nerves. More pressure on the home side, of course. Only for more points, and a win for Brighton would surely see them all but safe. Josh King. Davy Proper stepped in to win it back, now Dale Stevens. Gosling. Donato. Saw that coming from way off. Proper. Basuma. Lockhart wants it. Lockhart has it. Steered away by Cook. Aki. Fraser. Stevens for knockout. Knockout easily bright and busy. Stevens. Cardia. Donato. Cardia. Brighton plotting another route. Suma. Lerma. Brighton certainly enjoying the, the better of the opening half hour. They look more lively. They've got into so much promising, so many promising positions, but the final pass, the end product, not quite there yet. takes over and Fraser watching the run of Montoya Duffy Stevens spreading it to Bernardo Brighton fans urging their team on in a crucial game for them as they look to give themselves some room to manoeuvre Fight for survival. Given away dreadfully by Duffy, though, he seemed to hurt himself as he 
Send that ball on its way. Fraser. Brooks. Gosling. Wilson. Gosling! It looks so easy for Bournemouth. Who strike at the heart of Chris Hewton's Brighton. And who take the lead in this seaside showdown. Well, it played out like a five-a-side goal in the end. As if you're playing all these simple passes inside the opponent's 18-yard box. Anyhow's men are in front. Gosling the one who's got it, but look at the passing here. Everyone in space, and right outside the box, Brooks is the one with a forward ball. Gosling gives it to King, back to Gosling, and there the finish. The first shot on target. And Bournemouth get themselves in front, and look at the options that Gosling has, even inside the box. Astonishing amount of space. Well, no wonder Chris Hute reacted like that. And that was all far too straightforward for his liking. And it's a rare goal for Dan Gosling, his first for over a year. And a setback for Brighton. Bournemouth looking to edge further clear. Already ten points clear of the drop zone. Unlikely to be dragged into any sort of danger. And now they're calling the tune here. Well, they, I don't think they mind that Brighton have had the most possession in just past the half hour. They've looked more dangerous. Got themselves in front now, Bournemouth. Vital opening goal. First effort on target in the match. It took a while, but it's proved to be a major moment. For both teams, Chris Hutton still distraught about the way the goal came about. Shane Duffy was hobbling a little, having seemed to overstretch himself with that long ball he played. It was such a nothing ball, and yet he seemed to just be limping for five or ten seconds or so. Maybe that had an effect on the goal. Cardia, Callum Wilson, David Brooks available. by Lewis Duncan, Brighton are clearly rattled. Well, there's a sense of frustration now amongst the home support and certainly the home players. Lewis Dunk here, and dragged out, just leaning in there, Adam Smith. Again, a promising spot to get a decent ball into the box here. Bournemouth have offered little, but they have the lead. And Fraser asking the question. Josh King. Gosling. <laughs> Would have been a story if it scored again from there. Well, it's a half chance because it falls to him perfectly. It allows you to take it on the volley. Here's the goal again. When you see him limping there, Shane Duffy, I think that did have an effect on the goal. Just in that build-up play, he was down, feeling his leg. It gave his opponents just far too much time and space. That's why it looked like a, a goal you would score in five-a-side training. It's posed a problem for Chris Hewton and for Brighton and Havarbi. Seems all right now. He certainly wasn't on the goal. And normally everyone reacts from your centre back once he moves into space, and you can see that in the corner of your eye. You react as a as a teammate. And there's just too much space for everyone there. And the pace has dropped for Brighton. A sense of frustration amongst the home support. Seeking a swift response. Receiving such a poor goal. Knockout. 
Basuma. It's Dale Stevens to have a go. Well, a bit like Basuma earlier on, these are half decent chances just to get powerful shots away from outside the box. He's in acres of space here. I don't know whether the referee maybe gets in his way and his line of the ball, but the effort there's a poor one. It's nowhere near the target. Took it away by Aki. Cousin. Digging in. And here's Stevens. Now proper. Probably can bring it under control. This is what is constantly happening for Brighton. Promising right up to the 18 yard line, 18 yard box. And then it all breaks down. There's no end product. Players throw. Don't it. Oh, Wilson is going to keep this in. Could be more problems ahead for Brighton. Brooks trying to tee up Wilson again, but Brighton scrambled it away. It's almost really good link up play. Between Wilson and Brooks. Don't get himself in a bit of trouble, couldn't control the ball out of the air. Poor first touch. Brooks shadowed by Bernardo. Oh, Ryan Fraser. Almost got a glimpse of goal there. Brighton. Is at the back, but now trying to make an impression at the front. And they badly need to do that. Stevens for Bernardo. The Brighton fans encouraged by this move. Now Bernardo was going to send the cross in, but not yet. He's got to send it in. He had four teammates right in and around the penalty spot. Proper. Away from its intended target. I thought Bernardo had the better chance when everyone was on the move, no one had taken up a position. Frustration now for Chris Hewton. Look at look at him here, Shane Duffy. He's just hobbling. And that allows Gosling to go into the box and no one gets close to him. He then becomes chasing the ball, Shane Duffy, and there is so much space. You can see it all happening, you can see it all unfolding. Given it. Almost looked like the game had stopped. Well, it, it kind of did as far as Brighton were concerned. Nowhere near Bournemouth when it really mattered. And there is a little anxiety around these parts. Well, they're edging towards half time here, and after Boric in the goal, he's got nothing to do. He hasn't even had to take a cross. Wilson. Don't really use Matt Ryan, but it's a hurried clearance from him. Straight to Gosling. Now Brooks. And Callum Wilson. Look at the muscle in. Really could have gone now. <laughs> I was thinking that. This dunk just got too close to him and he took an extra straight. Now they're on their way. Basuma. Better pass than that as Boris gets a rare touch. They'll be glad to be involved in the game now after Boric. Basuma with a through ball. There's no angle on it. Easy for Boric to take. Cook. Aki. Go 
was to have Glenn Murray on the bench and might need to fall on him sooner rather than later at this rate. Smith. Look at the space for him. Some ground he's made up. Ryan Fraser takes over. Aki. Gosling. Aki. King. Aki. King now for Lerma, who was hobbling himself a little a moment ago. Steve Cook. Why not? It's a tester for Matt Ryan. It's a good effort. He's working the goalkeeper. He's asking him to make a save. And Ryan comes up with the goods here. Just opens up for him. And he takes it really cleanly. That's a good save from Ryan. Bernardo by Smith for Brooks. Fraser. Brooks. Could have slipped Callum Wilson in. Rather bogged down as it turned out. Knockout. Final third. Really good work rate there from Josh Kane. Look at him, he was, a, he was playing as a left back there. So determined to get back out and help out his teammates. Good team ethic, good work rate from King. And the rain is gone and the sun is out, but it's shining on Bournemouth at the moment. And no pressure on the ball. This will be easy for Bournemouth just to take it to half time got this much space. It will be an extra minute of stoppage time at the end of this first half. Wilson. Lerma. Fraser. 60 seconds of injury time is confirmed. Give it away by Gosling to Stevens. Asuma can't keep a hold of it. Fraser. Lerma. Will there be one last chance for Brighton or a chance for Brighton in this first half? Well, there shouldn't be. Lerma should be keeping the ball there so close to half time. Montoya. Knock up. And a bit of time here if they're not careful. Remember the fans are rather irate about the failure to deliver here. Knock up does help it on though. Montoya, cleared by Ryan Fraser. And a few boos around the Amex. It looked like two teams out of form in fairness, but the goal was a strange one. Brighton seemed to fall into slow motion. And Bournemouth were able to pass it into the back of the net. With Dan Gosling making the decisive contribution. Brighton seen a fair bit of the ball and have done so little with it. And this will be a concern for their supporters because at half time it is Brighton nil, Bournemouth one. So Brighton start the second half, and they have much to do in this game and in this season yet to secure safety in the Premier League. Although with Cardiff losing at Burnley, Brighton still have a five-point cushion between themselves and the relegation zone. But they need to sort themselves out here. They need to find a spark from somewhere. Yeah, they do. I'm just my eyes were drawn there to Chris Maple and that tussle with Andoni. I think that's where Brighton have to improve, just that 
last ball in the final third where everything looks so promising giving a teammate a chance to work the goalkeeper Boric Proper on the way out for Adam Smith Gets, gets the throw but the fans rather frustrated and the manager certainly is and just these simple five yard passes they're not finding their target and groans around the Amex. Bournemouth up to 12th as it stands. Bournemouth have won 10 of the 14 games in which they've scored first in the Premier League this season, so they've given themselves a platform here. Brighton, though, do have Glenn Murray to call upon from the bench. Duffy. Well, that's bobbled off Andoni, and that just typifies Brighton's day. And you just wonder how long Chris Hewitt will give it before he turns to Glenn Murray. See if he can come on and find a bit of magic. Gosling, the goal scorer, Brooks. Donato will take this throw. Duffy steered away by Meppen. Cardia and again, maybe proper alongside. Bernardo takes over, scooped away by Meppen. Some encouragement for Brighton. Yeah, a bit more promising. Fans getting behind them at the start of the second half. There's a bit of. A tussle in the middle of the box here. Something for Kevin Friend to sort out here. Well, I've got to say, Ian eyes were on the thrower, and then you were aware of something happening in the box, so off the ball. I don't know what Kevin Friend could have seen here. Chris Meppen and Mandoni summoned. Normally, this is the guidelines when you see a bit of a scuffle and there's so many involved. You can pick one from each side to show them a yellow. It's telling both sides just to calm. It's a warning. Another card apiece for Meppen and for Mandoni. Yeah, you can see them there. Metal and Andoni both coming together. And he's just foolish, Metal, for throwing his head into Andoni there. There was no real aggression from Metal into Andoni with the headbutt. It's so stupid to put his head there and even ask the referee if he saw it or his assistant, and you could be off the pitch. Look at him here, their heads come together. The referee's actually looking at it, so he did see what happened. And he's obviously called it, wasn't aggressive enough. Brooks now looking for Wilson, but Dunk tidies up.
Bernardo. Sliding purposefully, but match and foul by Joskin. Good bus forward by uh, Bernardo. I think he's right to get the foul here for the home side. King not impressed with the decision, but it gives Brighton a chance to get a decent ball in here. He's shooting hopeful something might come of this. Anthony Knockhart who sends over a teaser. A side flag was up anyway, it wouldn't have counted. It was a decent ball in, played with a good bit of a taste. Knockhart throwing it into the middle here. Warwick had it covered in the end, the header I don't think was going to be dropping in. You can see there, just went a bit too early. The flag was up immediately. King. Turn back on his feet after that tumble. And Kevin Friend being asked to look at this. Again, it was a knock back there from Aki. He got the ball cleanly. King. Fraser. Aki, not much room over there. He's gone out for a bright and throw. A scrappy start to the second half in keeping with the proceedings this afternoon. Now yeah, it's Mepham and Doni again. Two of them determined to get in their own little battle. One goals in the Premier League this season, but Brighton not really been able to test them. And King has got the better of Dunk here, and Duffy stopped it reaching Wilson. And Brighton stay in the game. Dunk is so lucky. Poor defending. Bailed out by his partner at the bat, Duffy. Desuma for Montoya. Knockout who. It's just a sort of player that might provide a spark for Brighton. Donato. Proper. Oh, give it away. By knockout, Callum Wilson. Freeze out! That is a fabulous finish! That is top class, top quality from Ryan Fraser! Bournemouth double their lead and Brighton are in bother! Well, Chris Hewitt and turned away in his disgust at the halfway line as soon as Knockhart gave the ball away. He knew that they were on the break here and they're capable of the pace that they have. The ball's been given away by Knockhart. You can see Wilson here playing it to Fraser. It was well left by King. But look at the quality of the finish. He takes it on his right and he gets it up and over Ryan. What a season he's having, Ryan Fraser. And just in the act of slipping, maybe he hit it with his right. Maybe a bit onto his left that helped it over Matthew Ryan in the goal. Two goal advantage for Bournemouth. 
That is good. That is really good from Ryan Fraser, linked with Arsenal and others. The man who's provided his fair share of assists. Ten in all in the Premier League, has just helped himself to his eighth goal of the season. Bournemouth are sitting pretty here, and Brighton's response will be to bring on Glenn Murray for Florin and Doni. No wonder. It seems like Chris Hewitt just turned around to his bench and asked him to stay calm for a minute. He's going to be having second thoughts. But they've got to get something on. They need a spark. Basuma. Proper. Bournemouth fling bodies in the way. Glenn Murray has been summoned from the Brighton bench. Get for Bournemouth. And Murray on 199 career goals. Four of them scored in a brief spell at Bournemouth. Before he rejoined Brighton. is <laughs> man to make way here, which is no great surprise. And Brighton hoping Glenn Murray can dig themselves out of a rather big hole here. A milestone of his own in the process. Yeah, not quite worked out for the remaining here. Glenn Murray, big home favourite, needs to try and get involved. Get his team back into the game. Next goal so important for the home side. Guardia stays on, even though he and Andoni have uh, offered little between them. King. Dennis Stevens, who was down but is now back up. Lockhart, who gave the ball away, allowing Bournemouth to break for their second. Ifanaki got there ahead of Montoya. Stevens though. And Murray. Oh, no, the ball dropped. Bernardo. Toyas cross. Away by Meppen. Here's Basuma. Gosling in the way. No, not for the first time. Gosling gets a block in. Basuma had cut in to his left a couple of minutes ago. Both him and Cook threw themselves in front of it. Defending from Smith, don't think the goalkeeper can come and take this one. Teasing ball from Lockhart, deep into the back post. Smith read it well. Right in a hurry, and no wonder it's Lockhart to take it. Basuma. Proper. Dunk. Stretching a little. Bernardo was behind him, might have been the better option, but Dunk committed to going for the ball. To the knockouts, error. And from then on in, needed a touch of class from Ryan Fraser. Yeah, just wonder in the act of finishing, was obviously with his right foot, he will have kicked it onto his left just to get that wee bit of loot. Josh King now testing forward, Callum Wilson. 
we'll get to this. An hour played at the Amex. Murray. Suma. Bernardo's cross just away from Murray. Jose Isquierdo will be coming on shortly for Brighton. His season has been disrupted by injury, which has been a shame for them because he's a player. Here's David Brooks. Don't look like hungry for a third. And it's Ryan Fraser popping up again. King sees off Duffy. Josh King! It didn't look that far away. Well, Josh King just giving a thumbs up to Ryan Fraser because it's his run that just allows him to take an extra stride, trying to curl it away into that back post area. It's close. Look at the reaction of the way supporters. They thought they'd seen a third goal there. Decent effort. Kiera will be on for Davy Proper shortly. Stevens, Murray. Donato. Still quick. Flung himself at that one. Montoya. Basuma. Second change. David Proper will make way for the arrival of Isquiedo, who's had a new problem for most of the season. It's only his 12th Premier League outing. And he's a player who can contribute to the cause, who can make a difference. And boy, somebody needs to frighten just now. who's lining up for Bournemouth today. onto this about by Basuma coming the way of Dan Gosling it's a tackle he didn't need to make he must have known he was in favourite there it's a needless yellow card for Gosling he's going nowhere Basuma actually going closer to his own goal there's a stretch there so clumsy, so needless. Deep in the opposition half. Silly for. It's Guido. Well, if are still losing at Burnley, so not much has changed for Brighton. Still five points there. Allotted the breathing space, and Cardiff come here on Tuesday. Something from this second chance to see off Cardiff in effect. Wilson now, Fraser evades Josh King. It was Wilson that wanted Fraser to do a different move. He got, up, he got on his right side here. He ignored that. Aki on the overlap. Into King in the middle of the box, looking for that third goal. Have lost 10 of their last 11 away games in the Premier League, so away days to remember. Seem a rather distant memory for them, but they are in the comfort zone still here with a 2 0 lead. 
Brighton goal would change that. Bernardo. Montoya. Suma. Firm, but still a decent gap between them and Cardiff. It's not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, I think a home game against Bournemouth is one you set the target for all three points. And brought them safety, but just not been at it. Montoya. Dunk. Stevens. Oh, has that situation under control. Montoya, Lacardia. Taken out by Knockout. I think that's a red from Knockout. Got to be a red. The Bournemouth players are absolutely furious. He was nowhere near the ball and still determined to get his opponent there. It's got to be a red from Knockout. It is going to be, I think. Yeah. It is a red card for Anthony Knockout with a stupid, reckless, dreadful challenge. And Brighton's day has gone from bad to worse, he gave the ball away for the second goal and now he's got himself sent off, pure stupid. Absolute madness and he misses a big game coming up he's out of control here because this is brilliant defending, hit that through ball from Lockhart, there's quality but look at Smith here he takes it and despite that heavy touch away, he is still committed to a challenge Lockhart could easily have broken his leg, outrageous tackle his manager here avoiding eye contact would be the best idea because that was just ridiculous from Anthony Knockout yeah, no handshake there no pat in the head there's a ball across goal after Knockout playing in Lucadia but the defending here is top class Smith is in complete control he sees Knockout coming in at pace and look at him lunging Desperate to make contact with Smith. And no wonder his teammates are furious. I don't think they convinced Kevin Friend to send him off. He knew what had happened. Took charge. Red card. Absolutely the right call. No, no alternative for Kevin Friend. I don't know if he needs to go off the pitch. I mean, there's been a red card showing. Smith needed treatment, but thankfully he looks as though he's okay and he'll be able to come back on. He doesn't need to go off in the short card. Well, these are challenging times for Brighton. Cardiff's situation might still save them, but even so, this has been nowhere near good enough, not even close to the Brighton fans who were at Wembley last week. Making their feelings known about it all this week. But Card for time wasting here. The box. I didn't look too bothered about it though. Well, even the suspension will hurt Brighton as well. Hurt Chris Hewitt and his team selection. Big game against Cardiff coming up. No card will miss that. And he is a big player for them when he's on song. He can create things, he can score. Taken out by Montoya now. Montoya just 
to give him a word of warning, I think, rather than a card. Yep. It's a, it's a difficult ball, it's a good first touch. It's a cynical foul. This is another one of those Bournemouth players who's been so important. He's done a good defensive side of the game today and been really sharp and quick on the break. And I think it's that transition that Bournemouth have had, defending in numbers, and then hitting Brighton on the break. They've, they've looked really dangerous. Fraser pops this in. Away by Duffy. Back by Lerma. Duffy there again. Basuma. There'll be a break on here. It's Kiedo. Cardia and Murray in the middle. It's Kiedo with work to do yet. Basuma. Nothing doing for the Cardia, which becoming a recurring theme. Well, given the quality of Bournemouth and the fact that they're still happy to sit back and they're up against ten men, wouldn't be surprised if you, you see Bournemouth get another goal here. Bernardo. Garnier. Still cut, plays it. Management now we see Bournemouth through whether they score another or not. They get a man to the good. So controlled in their passing here. Gosling, they've got things going with the opener for Bournemouth. I think you're right, Ian, there was no real danger of them going down. But the three points this afternoon has absolutely given everyone just the comfort of being above 40 points, 41 points, so they'll be safe. Building again for next season and another year in Premier League. It will be only their sixth win in 26 games in all competitions. But it'll be a big one for them. King advancing now. Brooks takes over. Fraser and David Brooks and Bournemouth find the way through again. Brighton are having an absolute shocker. But Bournemouth have been clinical when it's mattered. Yet again on the break. It's the pace that Bournemouth have. It's killed Brighton. It's a real team goal. Brighton fans turning away in disgust. They've seen enough. But this has been so comfortable for Bournemouth. The game plan has worked a treat. Brooks gets the goal and it was set up again by Fraser. But look at the involvement here of Josh King. He has carried this ball 40 yards or so. And then Brooks takes over here. It's a simple one two with Fraser. And Brooks in that position remains calm, remains composed. It's still a side foot finish despite that despairing tackle. Three goals to the good now, Bournemouth. Well worth it. And three goals against Brighton this season for David Brooks. He scored both when Bournemouth beat Brighton 2 0 at uh, the Vitality Stadium in December. He's on the mark again here. Dominic Solanke is coming on for Josh King for Bournemouth. A few Brighton fans are streaming away. Lucania trying to offer some resistance here, but it just never looked very likely, and not much has from Brighton today. He cannot have had many afternoons as comfortable as this at a Boric. King coming off, Dominic Solanke coming on for the fifth match running from Liverpool in January. He's only uh, 
club goal in England was actually against Brighton for Liverpool at the end of last season. Well, no wonder you get handshake and a pat on the head here. And the manager and his coaching staff, he's had a terrific performance, Josh King. Stevens. Suba. Sums up Brighton's day. It's an effort of going to hit his own hand. He's <laughs> scared though. And the yellow car coming out for Best Suma this time. <laughs> well, 30,000 here this afternoon, and most of the home supporters leaving. Still so concerned about their status in the Premier League. What a big game coming up on Tuesday against Cardinal. Chris Hutton will need a huge improvement. Here come Bournemouth again and exploiting the gaps again. Cameron Wilson trying to sneak in, but it was a tad over hit by Solanke. I thought he might have carried it a bit further, Solanke. No one near him. This might be really embarrassing for Brighton. Lost three at home. And get into the last 15 minutes or so, they might lose another one. Murray. Steve Cook. Jefferson Lerner. Here's Nathan Aki. remaining games and home to Fulham and Spurs away to Southampton and Bristol Palace but they can rest a little easier now though they will want to finish the season with some momentum a bit of a high and they'll certainly take a lot out of this game whereas Brighton can take absolutely nothing and it all points to a monumental match against Cardiff here on Tuesday now Team selection will be interesting for Chris Hutton. No knock heart with that red card. I'm trying to give the supporters a bit of a lift, get them on side again. Stevens. Dunk. Have to get over the top, steered away by Meppham. Stevens. Adam Smith won it. Stevens just caught Smith away. Seems to be on the receiving end of a few tough challenges, Smith. <laughs> he just seems to go on his job quietly, efficiently. He's getting battered from pillar to post. A desperately disappointing day for Brighton this. End up losing it, Burnley. Then they'll be rather relieved here that the gap is still five points with Cardiff coming here on Tuesday. Could effectively uh, seal Cardiff's fate, although Cardiff might be looking at that another way, of course, if they can close the gap. Yeah, exactly. Cardiff would be looking at this thinking it's a bit fragile here. The Brighton take advantage, and then it's all to play for in the last few weeks of the season. Dunk. Duffy. Final ten minutes upon us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know if we're going to make another 
change, which will see the arrival of Junior Stanislas shortly. Suma. With games against Tottenham, Arsenal, Man City left amongst others. They find themselves in bother with Carney who had a win here Tuesday. Fraser, who's about to be replaced. Callum Wilson gets in on the act. Bournemouth score again and crash through the 40 point barrier. Brighton hammered and humiliated. Well, Brighton score again through Wilson. And look who set it up. Is it any surprise it's Ryan Fraser yet again? What a performance, what a team performance here. Aki just finding Fraser on the left-hand side. He's looking up at all times. I think that might have been meant for Solanke. But the control from Wilson just gave him the opportunity to get away from Dale Stevens here. Sets himself for the shot and drills it away into that far corner. What a performance from Bournemouth this afternoon. Well, number 13 of the season for the number 13, and that is his final contribution because he's going to be replaced here by Junior Stanislas. We were going to take off Ryan Fraser, but keeping him on after he uh, provided yet another Premier League assist. Wilson is the man to make way. Three goals in five games against Brighton. Stanislas has come on for the last three games now, having uh, missed a couple of months with a thigh injury. We saw Ryan Fraser running over here. I thought he was coming off Ian, but he's just coming over to the right-hand side. I'll be setting a goal up from this position. Great performance from him. Brighton. For Eddie Howe, it's a magnificent away day. Tremendous team performance, four goals. A lot to think about, a lot to work on. With Chris Hewton and his players ahead of the big game on Tuesday. Home to Cardiff. What a sparkling performance from Ryan Fraser. Chris Hewton's Brighton beaten here and somehow have to pick themselves up for that critical visit from Cardiff on Tuesday. He's feeling rather lonely down there at the moment. Yeah, I think the only positive was how dangerous they looked at times in the first half when it was nil-nil, but their end product, the final pass, didn't give anyone the chance of scoring. There's Brooks. And then Nathan Aki. Solanke. Finished toying with Brighton yet. along the south coast today. They were a low ebb themselves last week when they lost at home to Burnley, a shocking performance from them. But the boot is on the other foot this time around. That plan has worked perfectly. So easy now, this passing, counting on the Bournemouth away fans. Delighted with their team's performance. Jefferson Lerma now. Dan Gosling. Aki. Jack Simpson will be 
Well to sub to Jonas. Fraser. Brooks. Serenki. Brooks. Bonnie Dunk. Another round of applause from the away fans appreciating the fact that the team has created another goal scoring opportunity. Coming thick and fast. Colossal performance from the Bournemouth captain Steve Cook against his old club today. He was struggling with an injury early on, but he's a proper centre half. He was always going to continue. He's given Gosling the armband there. The Bournemouth fans show their appreciation for Steve Cook back at his former club. And he's earned this minor breather. He'll be replaced by Jack Simpson, his only previous Premier League. Appearances were both starts at the Etihad against Manchester City, so it's probably due to come on in a game where you're 4-0 up away from home. Yeah, you look at sometimes the value for money Eddie Howe gets, the likes of Brooks from the, uh, the Championship, Epham as well. And uh, Saranke! Adam Smith, it's David Brooks now. Brighton looked like they could concede again. Gosling's effort it was goal bound but blocked. Adam Smith coming back for more. Fraser. Brighton <laughs> merely waiting to be put out of their misery here which has been considerable. Fraser, Brooks. Some of these passes has been a complete embarrassment for them, a bit of a humiliation. Here's Nathan Aki. Another loose pass, so many of those today. Brooks now! They are gifting chances to the opposition here. Basuma on the touch line with a loose pass. So Lanky's on to it. Gets a 1-2. That's a really good effort. Decent save from Ryan. Brighton won't want to hear this, but there is going to be four minutes of stoppage time. You want to hear when you fall nil down, you keep giving the ball away. Brooks. Fraser. Brooks, Stanislas with a stumble, and Shane Duffy to find Izquierdo. Basuma, Duffy, Dorrance, he's had such a quiet afternoon, we'll pop that out of the air. Well, that's an effort on target, as comfortable as it was for Apple Boric. Body's in the box here, helping it back into the danger area, Shane Duffy, but 
that's as comfortable as they come for Arthur Boric. Bernardo just almost a task guy, isn't he? Thomas, fifth away win of the season. Will stand them in good stead now. Not that they were particularly in danger, but Brighton could be. A Cardiff win here on Tuesday. Would spell trouble with a capital T in the run-in with some difficult games ahead. Brighton's final game is against Manchester City here. You wouldn't want to be getting anything out of that. And now Jefferson Lerma racing away. And now David Brooks. And once again, it's so, so easy. And it's Junior Stanislas this time as Bournemouth hit the high fives. But this has been absolutely abject from Brighton. A pitiful performance with Cardiff City coming here next. What is Dale Stevens doing in the middle of the pitch? I mean, this is not a training game. This is a game in the Premier League. You need to be sharp, you need to be strong. And when he gives the ball away, his reaction, he doesn't seem to care. He gives it away here and just chucks it. Look at the energy of the Bournemouth players. And Brooks being so unselfish here, setting up the substitute. It's yet another training goal. It's actually a, a good tackle that was won by Shane Duffy. But just the options that Bournemouth have going forward. And remember, Brighton are four down here, and they're still getting hit on the break. It's remarkable. Bournemouth have been utterly ruthless in front of goal, but boy, have they been given some help here. Five different scorers for Bournemouth. around the annex is about as flat as it possibly could be, and no wonder. Testing times for Chris Hewton and Bournemouth still playing with them. Haki. Solanke. To Bournemouth fancy another here. I wouldn't be too surprised. Stanislas, Brooks. They're walking their way towards goal here. Gosling just tackled in the nick of time. It's Fraser. I don't think the ref gives a penalty there because it's 5 0. That was a foul on Ryan Fraser. Oh, the Bournemouth fans are smiling. Days like this don't come along very long. You're right, Ian. It is utter humiliation for Brighton. This is not just a, a defeat, it's a painful, heavy defeat at home, at the business end of the season, and things look bleak for Brighton. It's been one of Bournemouth's better days without argument, but the real story here is Chris Hewton and Brighton, because they went down with a whimper today, their own worst enemies at times. A dreadful display, and how Bournemouth took advantage of every error, and there were quite a few of those. They still had to finish, of course, Bournemouth, and boy, did they do that. A masterclass on that front. No more worries for them now, but plenty of worries for Brighton, who are on such a low after this thumping, after this thrashing. And their next game is here in midweek against Cardiff City, whose own form might yet save Brighton, but somehow they've got to pick themselves up and dust themselves down and get on with that pivotal game against Cardiff. But this could take some getting over for Brighton of Albion. Fair play to Bournemouth, though. I hope you just love it when a plan comes together. And it worked out even better than what they could have possibly imagined because it's finished at the Amex. Brighton nil, Bournemouth five.
Bournemouth have scored with the first attempt on target in the game, and this was a sign of things to come. It was all so simple for them. Brighton nowhere near them as Dan Gosling stroked it home. A costly error from Anthony Knockard allowed Ryan Fraser to finish in style, and it just got better and better for Bournemouth. David Brooks scored his third goal against Brighton this season. And then Callum Wilson got in on the act. They were all queuing up to have a go. Brighton had Anthony Knockhart sent off as well to add to their dismal day. And a five-goal, five-star performance rounded off by Junior Stanislas. But a result that asked more questions about Brighton than Bournemouth, really.